there was a stage, wasn't there, when I think the, we were talking about this um, before, about how the BBC were looking to have everyone and to turn it into producer, director, editors, and that they were all going to be working from hot desks and people were going to be working from headphones. And thankfully, oh. that died a death. God, was it? Was yeah, it, was and it, was every, there was a period when was it was... It Cardiff that was setting up some massive system of central storage where everything had to be digitised in and it would be, a, be available to editors and directors and yeah. they'd all have an editing system on there. And, and yeah. so we started us, and we're digressing here, and I remember sort of asking when some guy from Cardiff came to talk to us about this, uh, right, um, I've got a bit of music here. How do we, ah, you would have to take that down to a, a central room and they would have to digitise it for you. So, so we couldn't do it immediately. I'm not sure our production's <laughs> going to like that, the fact that we're going back to the old system of a film transfer suite. Whenever you wanted a bit of sound off disc or off tape, you had to take it down to the transfer suite, go away and wait till they decided to transfer it for you. It's interesting how, never heard any more about that. No, I mean, anyone's ever done that. I mean, we've, we do have our shared storage for, for Avid systems, but the concept of this whole, that, because we also said, what happens to all of these rushes eventually? Who manages? Who decides when you delete stuff, etc.? Oh, I'm sure we'll get that sorted. I think we're very fortunate that, as I say, there was this desire to push everyone into desks and to have them all in the open plan offices, and that seems to have died a death. And edit suites now, still pretty much the same as they were 20, 30 years ago.